What's good, you guys? It's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidIt.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your trap drums more interesting. I'm going to show you a basic trap drum pattern. And then we're going to go in and, you know, switch up everything from kicks to the percussion to the hi-hats. All that good stuff. And just make the drums sound more interesting. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to let you hear the beat really quick. And then we're going to go in, switch up the drums, make it sound more interesting. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we could actually mute this little lead, I just had it in the background, is we're gonna go into these hi-hats, right? And we're gonna just have our clap going. All these drums can be found in my wire drum kit and my Lean Cuisine drum kit, if you guys want them. All right, so we have this basic pattern going. So we're gonna open up piano roll and we're going to turn the metronome on. I like to do this with the metronome on. Come over here to the magnet. Come to third step. And then we're going to just add some rolls. So let's come right here and add like a little quad fill. And this has to go over one. So that already is going to make the beat sound a little more interesting. So let's just keep going with these hi-hats and then we'll move over. So we'll let this lead play while we're doing it. And then we'll add a little run right here. It's going to go down and we'll turn the velocity a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing over here with the little quad fill that we did. And then we'll add a little double right here and then delete these, hold control and now hold shift and then boom, put these over here and we'll switch these up a little bit too. And on this one, we'll just raise this up and then we'll do another fill right here and now we'll press control a alt r to randomize and the hi-hats will be done so now we'll go in here to let's see what we want to start with next we'll get this little open hi-hat going so I had it on the downbeat in the original boring version. Now we're going to go over here and throw it somewhere else. And we'll have it like that. And then we have the, just a little crash we'll just put in the beginning. And another cool thing we could do with this is pitch this down. So we'll have it going, right? And we'll come over here. There we go, that sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and run with that. And let's put this clap back on. And now let's go to this snare over here. I only had it hitting once. Now we're gonna make it hit a few more times. So let's just figure out where it sounds good. And then make sure to have it enabled. And we gotta take the slide off. And these are going to be kind of accent snares. And I'm going to move these over a tiny bit. I'm going to hold Alt and just drag them over a little bit. And we could turn the metronome off. Make sure we put our lead back on and kind of listen to what we've done so far. And then let's put a run right here. We'll see how this sounds starting from down here and going up. Uh, we want it to be more of a triplet feel, so. 
and then we'll go to pan and we'll pan this left right left or right left right and then go back to velocity and then make it like this there we go could actually turn these down a little bit so control drag hold alt with the mouse wheel drag down there we go and now let's make the 808 a bit more interesting so let's go in here and we'll start at high D probably D sharp I think it was and then put this to sell and then let's go in here I think it's still panned yeah, so just hold Alt and then click. And then we'll just have our 808 like that and then hold Control A, control down arrow twice. Get it down to the right octave. One more. And then we could turn up the tempo a tiny bit. And now we can go into one more open hat. And on this open hat, we're gonna come into here, into instrument, turn down attack, turn sustain up release down and now we have control of how the hi-hat is played so we'll go in here and cut this out and you'll see if I make it small it's gonna chop so we can go in here and make it smaller and make it chop drag these over and now if we turn the 808 and the lead off you'll hear our, how our drums sound way more interesting so now we could put the 808 in and we'll go get a kick pattern so let's delete this one and let's go into here and have the kick bounce off with the 808 So you'll see that our 808 is hitting different than our kick. The 808 hits again right here, but our kick is over here. So we're offsetting the kick and the 808 so that they can add more bounce. Because if it was normal, it would be here. But it gives it a different vibe when it's off. And then we'll go over here, make it the same, and add one probably here. There we go. And now if we play it with the lead. If you wanted to go crazy you can go in here and add you know different parts to the 808 before it comes in if you wanted to do that you know something higher or you could come over here before this one drops in and slide it that actually sounds pretty cool so we can go with that and slide this one
So just something easy like that. So this is just a few ways that you could spice up, you know, your trap drums by adding different hi-hat fills, offsetting the kick with the 808, and then getting creative with your open hi-hats and whatnot just to make the beat sound a little bit more interesting. Nothing too crazy, you know, but just, you know, it adds to the drums and it makes them a little bit more appealing. If you did like this tutorial, thumbs it up. You can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to catch me on Twitter and Instagram. I give away free drum kits on Instagram all the time just for commenting. Randomly, I'll do it. And on Twitter, I'm always giving out free tips, marketing tips, mixing tips, all that good stuff. So follow me on all that at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit my website for everything else. All the kits in here are on Lifestyle Did It. Other than that, subscribe to your boy. Thanks.